Hello folks and welcome back to another Wise Game video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a news break in the gaming world. This is pretty exciting and I think you're going to find it very interesting. Now, I did just find out about this today, but I understand that they released the information about three to four days ago. So the information out there is still fairly new. Now, as far as I know, this gaming company hasn't developed any actual games or released them yet because the company just started off. But I think once we look at the staff, we're going to be surprised on who they are. And we could see that they have tons and years of experience at game development. Now, I'm not going to be reading all the information that we're going to be looking at in today's video, but I will read this snippet right here. China's on a new adventure. Welcome to Dreamhaven. We love epic adventures. Sharing stories and creating lasting memories with family and friends. So we're building a new game company based on our shared values and relentless passion for making meaningful player experiences. We hope you'll join us in the new journey. Dreamhaven is home to multiple game development studios and a central support team. This includes global operations, publishing, and partnership functions that can also help independent developers build and launch their games. So does that mean that they're going to be platforming their games or helping other developers platform their games? Now I will leave a link in the description panel of today's video so when you leave the time you could go and check it out. So the two gaming studios that they're going to be operating at this time is called Moonshot Games and Secret Door. Now why is this such big news? I know there's hundreds if not thousands upon thousands of gaming companies in this world. Well, before we take a look at their staff and who's responsible for starting up this company, that's going to be the exciting part of it. But I will give you guys a little bit of a clue. They are located in Irvine, California. And with that being said, let's meet the staff. Now at times I do suck at pronouncing last names, so I'm going to let your eyes do the work right here. But now if we do read the description under each person, each staff member here, we're going to see that they have something very deeply in common. Alan was one of the engineers for Warcraft 3, Starcraft 2, and Heroes of the Storm, who was employed and had a 25 year career at Blizzard Entertainment. That's right, Blizzard Entertainment entertainment. Next we have Amy. She is head of operations. She was involved in roles to do with StarCraft 2, Heroes of the Storm, World of Warcraft in China, and Blizzard's global esports teams. And then next we have Ben. Ben is a 20-year veteran of the gaming industry, both tabletop and digital. And his deep involvement was Hearthstone which Hotstone again is another Blizzard Entertainment game. And then next we have Billy. Billy was also as a principal and lead technical artist for the Blizzard Entertainment Company. We haven't even reached the peak yet. Next we have Chris. He was also in development to do with Warcraft 3, Starcraft 2, Heroes of the Storm, and Hotstone. Again, all Blizzard Entertainment games. Next we have Derek who's got over 15 years in designing and implementing user interfaces. Derek's involvement was World of Warcraft and Hearthstone. Again, another ex-Blizzard employee. Next we have Dustin. Dustin's got 25 years experience and he was contributed and also involved in games including StarCraft II, Heroes of the Storm, World of Warcraft, Lord of the Rings, Command and Conquer, and Mech Warrior 2. Again, a good portion of these games being with Blizzard Entertainment. The next we have Eric. Eric is in designing, and he's been with Blizzard Entertainment for 20 plus years. Eric was also the game director for the seven years of Hearthstone's development and he was the first designer to work on the original World of Warcraft. Again, working with Blizzard Entertainment. Next we have Paul in Operations, and his game and involvement included Diablo, League of Legends, Starcraft, and World of Warcraft. 
again, except for League of Legends, all being within Blizzard Entertainment. Now, you guys ready for the biggie? Let's give it a look. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Marheim. Now, if any of you ever watched BlizzCon or has attended BlizzCon, Mike Marheim, the head CEO and founder for Blizzard Entertainment. You know how there's so many forums now and so many videos and so many streamers claiming when World of Warcraft was great. We're looking back at the days of classic, you know, which was vanilla. We're looking at the days of the Burning Crusade. We're looking at the times that they had 12 to 13 million subscribers. So the stuff we just looked at so far in today's video is responsible for those great moments in these games. Mike wrote his first line of code on his Bailey Professional Arcade Gaming Console when he was in 6th grade. He loved it. A decade later, he was writing code at one of the co-founders of Blizzard Entertainment. He eventually became the company's CEO, overseeing all creativity and operational aspects. And during that time, helped launch more than 20 consecutive number one hits. Mike's values driven leadership and passion for bringing people together in positive ways remain stronger than ever. The only thing I'm not 100% clear on is are they just going to be a studio for other independent game companies or are they going to be releasing their own titles also? Similar to like a recording studio when it comes to music production, artists and things of that nature. Most bands do not have or own their own recording studio so they go to a music studio for production. So I'm sure as time goes on we'll find out more information about Dreamhaven but talk about an A-team when it comes to them creating their own games. So, if anybody out there does have a gaming degree and they got a strong background when it comes to gaming, they should maybe apply to the openings that Dreamhaven is now posting on their website. And they even have a larger staff than the members that I showed in today's video. With many more of them also coming from Blizzard Entertainment, and a lot of the games that we play on a daily base. And Mike Moheem and their back corner man, I mean you can't get a better gaming CEO than this guy. So I wish Dreamhaven the very best. We're hoping to see and try to play some of their games in the very near future. So it's definitely an exciting time in the gaming industry and world. And I thank all you guys for stopping by and checking out Wise Gamer. Feel free to sub up for more future videos. Comment down below because as always, we love to hear from you. Until the next time, you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.